So what are your memories with Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood? When my son was little, we watched it. And it was like heartbreakingly sweet, like what he was trying to achieve. And I thought it was pretty inspirational. gingerbread they're built on a gingerbread base and then they're um, flushed out with some Maoan chocolate and the chocolate is like this white chocolate compound because I, I feel like the gingerbread houses are really for the kids I like to make it like a look like illustrations in a storybook and what are you painting with right now I'm painting with uh, powder paint color and lemon extract right now and I'm gonna do a couple layers and try to make this look kind of velvety. Everything on here is edible, and so his cape is made out of rice paper that's coated in gelatin. Edible markers? No, they're not edible markers. There's some markers with edible ink. Okay. <laughs> So the nice thing about the open markers is that you can do this thing where you put a couple different colors on and then you can pull the color away so that it looks a little bit as if it's got some dimension to it. The marker doesn't really work over the paint, so you have to lay the marker in first. The texture that you're able to achieve, is that specific tools that you're using? This is four toothpicks taped together, and you make like a little rake out of it. I feel like the nice thing about the gingerbread is that it's hollow, so we could fill it with little things inside. So that's kind of the fun part of it, is that it's completely edible, but you can make this little scene or kind of diorama or something on the inside of it. So. For this one, there isn't a lot going on on the inside, but I feel like the fact that you can see through it, you really feel that it's made out of a cookie. So I do some sketches, and then I make a model, and then off of that model, I make a template. There are tons of really great templates online, you know, for anybody who wants to make like a regular gingerbread house.